Mark Zuckerberg unveils Meta's eerily realistic AI that creates videos with sound. Ever imagine tech that could transform video creation, seamlessly blending real people into AI scenes? Today we'll discuss MovieGen Meta's advanced AI toolset to revolutionize video production. How does this innovative tech work and what ethical issues does it raise for the industry? We'll explore these questions in this video and I think you be amazed by this tool's potential to start off you know the drill comment below can ai truly transform video creation what are its limits and possibilities are we ready for this coming revolution in video technology i'm genuinely interested in hearing your perspectives don't forget to like and share this video link in whatsapp and telegram groups to keep your friends updated on this topic deal let's continue Mita just unveiled MovieGen, an AI-based video and audio generation tool, and the initial results are already impressive. With this new tech, Meta promises to create high-quality clips with synced audio, all from simple text input. It's still in development and not public yet, but it's already shaping up to be a potential competitor to tools like OpenAI systems, specifically Sora and Runway's video generation technologies. This is just the beginning. MovieGen's big deal isn't just about making short videos. It goes further, grasping visual and audio coherence, offering editing and even customization features. At the core of this innovation is a massive 30 billion parameter transformer model for video generation with a second 13 billion parameter model handling audio. These models were trained on an enormous data set, including 100 million text video pairs and over 1 billion text image pairs. It can recreate diverse scenarios from landscapes and human interactions to objects in motion. MovieGen aims to tackle multiple challenges, creating videos from text, editing videos, customizing content, and even generating audio from video. For instance, you can input an image of a person and it'll create a video of them dancing, running, or even doing something surreal like surfing on a dolphin. A key feature is the flow mapping training method which predicts scene evolution over time, producing visually and temporally consistent videos and audio. Mita's team designed the system to work in a compressed, latent space, which greatly reduces computational load, as it handles compressed video versions before generating the final high-res output. This allows MovieGen to create 1080p videos at 16 FPS. While below the 24 FPS film standard, it's suitable for casual content. A temporal autoencoder handles compression, enabling the model to process longer videos and complex scenes without overloading memory or computing power. MovieGen's video component is impressive, but the audio model is equally noteworthy. With 13 billion parameters, it generates detailed sounds matching the video, from wind in trees to footsteps on gravel or mood-setting ambient music. The model produces 48K's audio that perfectly aligns with the visuals. Besides new video creation, MovieGen features cutting-edge AI video editing tools. Picture a video of someone running with coffee, then telling AI to swap it for flowers. The change happens smoothly without jarring transitions or visual glitches. This enables creative options from post-production tweaks to viewer-tailored content. One standout feature is the video customization functionality. Integrating real people into AI videos with High fidelity marks a major tech breakthrough. MovieGen can take a person's image and animate it into video, keeping facial features and body movements consistent following given instructions. This transforms industries like marketing, social media, and gaming, where personalized content is becoming crucial. Meta stated in their blog that they believe MovieGen outperforms rivals like OpenAI, Sora, Runway Gen 3, and Eleven Labs in several areas, particularly in video quality and audio sync. In blind tests, MovieGen's results were rated more favorably than other top models, especially in realism, 
audio visual sync and movement consistency. This is significant as tools like OpenAI Sora are already recognized in film where AI speeds up post-production and creates complex visual effects. It's worth noting, however, that while MovieGen's videos are visually stunning, they're produced at 16 frames per second, slightly below the cinema standard of 24. For most casual content, this difference isn't noticeable, especially when viewing on a phone screen, but it might be inadequate for intense action scenes or gaming applications where fluidity is crucial. However, this lower frame rate is necessary to ensure faster, more efficient video generation, considering the immense computational requirements involved. Of course, the technology will evolve over time. MovieGen's capabilities have the potential to impact various industries from advertising to film production. AI generated videos are already being explored to reduce production costs and time, but concerns about copyright and intellectual property are emerging. Many AI models, including MovieGen, are trained on large data sets likely containing copyrighted material. This raises legal questions about ownership of AI generated content, especially for commercial use. Hollywood has cautiously explored AI-generated content. Open Eyes Sora, shown in February 2024, can create feature film-like videos. MovieGen could find similar uses, quickly generating complex scenes and special effects. However, this also brings ethical challenges. Deepfakes have spread misinformation and lawmakers globally worry about AI media in elections. Meta is taking a more cautious approach with this model. Unlike Llama, which was released to developers, MoveGen will likely remain under tighter control. Meta says it's working with entertainment creators to explore the tool's potential while assessing risks. MoveGen's training was massive, using 6,144 NVIDIA SH100 GPUs, each at 700W with 80 GB HBM3 memory. This process occurred on Meta's EA Grand Theft Auto server platform. Form. The project scale shows the huge resources involved, explaining why it's not yet public. The computational demands for these videos are enormous. Until the process speeds up and costs drop, MoveGen likely won't be widely available soon. Meta's engineers use 3D parallelism to scale the model across multiple GPUs. Splitting model parameters, input tokens, and data sets among GPUs to optimize both memory and processing power. The complexity of this training process is one reason why these models aren't easily replicated by smaller firms or open source projects as they require infrastructure levels that only a few major tech companies in the world like Meta can maintain. As development progresses, MoveGen will likely set new standards for AI-generated media, giving creators a powerful tool to streamline production, boost creativity, and eventually democratize content creation. With ongoing investment and refinement, it's just a matter of time until tools like MoveGen become essential in content creation. I believe MoveGen represents an exciting leap in AI-generated media, offering incredible features that could revolutionize how we create and consume audiovisual content. Content. However, like all emerging tech, we must consider the ethical and legal challenges, especially regarding deep fakes and intellectual property of generated content. What do you think about this new technology? Are we ready to embrace this entertainment revolution? Share your thoughts in the comments. Let's keep this conversation going. This video doesn't end here. It continues with our discussion in the comments. If you found this video interesting, please like, share, and subscribe.